This is Penelope. She's our new milk cow. We brought her home today. Today's family day. So we brought home a new addition to the family. She's such a sweetheart. I love her so far. I just finished milking her. I don't know exactly how much she gave us, but I thought she gave us a, a really good amount. And it took less time to get her milked out than I thought it would. But she's doing really well. Um, she's really friendly. She's really calm. She leads really nice. She stood really nice for milking. She only fidgeted a little tiny bit. And I just have her tied to the fence post, so she's not even in a stanchion or anything. Really impressed with her so far. Um, she's a six-year-old jersey with a little tiny bit of brown Swiss in her, so they say. Um, she's not very tall. I don't know how tall she is. I'm going to have to measure her and see how many inches tall she is, but I know jerseys aren't big in general, but she's definitely a small cow. But she's really sweet. She's a sweet, sweet girl. Yeah, so now we have a milk cow, and now we get to do all the things that are involved with milking a cow every day. She's used to being milked once a day, so thank God for that, because she doesn't come with a calf. So we can't do calf shearing, so she's used to being milked in the evening. So we will probably uh, continue with that and see how that goes, and if we want to change it to morning milking, then we can slowly and gradually do that. And we'll have to get some supplies for her. Um, some special alfalfa feed for her, and uh, I don't know. What else? Maybe some stuff like uh, Utter Bomb and all that. And right now she's kind of in this temporary setup in our horse pasture. Obviously it's not ideal, um, but this is what we got going on and she's got a, this is going to be her, her shelter for the time being until we figure out what we're doing. You know, it's just like us. We like to buy animals before we have all the proper facilities in place. Obviously we don't have a barn yet, but here we are. We have a milk cow now. She was going to go in with the bull at the place that we got her from today. And I chose not to do that because if we did that, she'd be calving in December, which I do not want a calf in December. Um, that's a really terrible time of year for us to have a calf when we don't have a barn. And who knows, maybe by then we'll have some kind of better facility, but still, I don't really want a calf in December. So I'm going to wait a few heat cycles before we breed her, so hopefully we can have like a late spring calf. And we'll have to figure out what we're doing there, if we're doing bull or AI or what we're doing there. But so far, we're just going to milk her every day and, and reap the benefits of having raw milk finally. I'm so excited to finally have raw milk and not drink pasteurized milk. And I think definitely I'm going to get her tested just to see what type of uh, beta casein she has and what type of milk she has and all that kind of stuff. I know, Mama. We'll get you untied. I'm sorry. She's like, I'm done milking. Let me go. What are you doing, lady? All right. Well, that's Penelope, guys. I'm going to let you go and let her go and, and let her enjoy her night and settle in a bit more.